And today I'm moving on to the roof of my cab and what I've decided to do just off camera I've fitted some brackets to the inside of the cab and when we get over to workbench I'll just explain exactly what I did there so what I'm going to do with roof then I'm going to I'm going to put a, this, a sheet of steel over it but I'm going to do a cut out I know it's going to cut a lot out but I want to clear the safety valves and the manifold for easy access if need be so th this piece up to the safety valves here I'm going to make that permanent and then the middle piece I'm going to put a portion in that's going to be detachable so I can easily take the, the middle bit off to access everything on here so I'll move over to workbench and we'll have a look at this then okay then let's have a little bit of a discussion of what I'm going to do with this roof right so over on loco I've shown you them brackets that I'd fitted and all they are, I got this bag of brackets off a car boot sale or, or something like that, flea market uh, there's, there's hundreds in there and what I've done I've just I've, I've hammered them on, on the vice on the anvil on the vice to, to bring them out to an 100, 120 degree angle so that they follow the profile of my radio from and I've got this bit of scrap steel where I've had lying around I've already hacked a piece off it and left it in a dangerous condition which I shouldn't have done but yeah there you go there's just going to be enough steel to do my roof out of that so I've had a bit of a practice with some aluminium and after I'd done this aluminium practice piece I've put this cut out in but I've decided to, to modify it because where my safety valves are approximately here coming up through the cab if I, if I need to access them and I put a roof on that size I'm going to have to keep taking the old roof off to get to them safety valves my manifold's no problem because I can get to that there but what I thought is I'm now going to make this cut out come further back and I know I'm taking most of the roof away at, by doing this but I'm going to make the cut out further back so that'll be my me, me permanent roof if, if that's the right way I'm going to make a removable piece that's going to bolt onto to this part here just to then my safety valves will come through it on some extension tubes and then when I when I need to get to everything I've just got this one piece in the middle with four bolts or four screws just to easily take off and I can also take it off to take one of val uh, safety valves out to top to fill my boiler up you know when you're initially steaming up so that's me that's my idea at the moment so I'm just marking this steel out uh, ready to to cut this out now Okay, then I've got me me bends on the end. I'm not sure if my battery went on my camera as I was doing that. If it did, 
I'll show you how I bent this one. I've got this one covered on video. Exactly the same. So what I want to do now then, I'm going to make this cut out further up here to clear me safety valves. That's the roof fitted temporarily before I paint it and what I've done off camera I've made another um, just to fill this gap in so remember I've gone I've gone back that deep because of my safety valves I want them to come through uh, to be able to get them off on and off as required and to take one off to fill the boiler and then once I've had access to that I can just drop this back on and what I'm going to do here I'm going to make four little knurled screws I think so I can just undo them with my fingers and uh, with two holes in just to slot over the safety valves four screws to make and I think it's ready for painting now so I think I'll do that in another video uh, come back to this because it just wants you know odds and ends tidying up first that's it for this part then if you've not seen my other videos and me making this loco from scratch uh, take a look at them and if not I'll catch you on my next video thanks for watching then bye for now <laughs>